community. If that happened, what would the library have to do? Cut hours. They just cut hours. And staff. Just like anything, most of the operation is is staffing. Yeah. So you'd cut hours. <laughs> I just I just don't see how how it can be sustainable. To, I mean, pretty soon we're going to be knocking over two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so you've got the pool next year, sixty-three thousand for three months. And Brian just reported that you had what uh, fifteen hundred people use it through the summer, more or less, not including lessons. Maybe almost two thousand. And that's the uh, only thing in town 2, for the kids to do. It's the only thing we have in town for kids to do to, that's outside recreation. Kids don't use libraries? Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not saying they don't use the library, but is that a recreational use? It is for some kids. They provide services like story time, art and crafts. There's kids up there. I, mean, I, I, I know. know. My kids use the library. My kids use the library a lot. I. I Personally, and obviously I'm biased because I'm on the board, I feel that having a library of that, like the library we have in this town, in this town, is enormous. And to limit its hours, uh, not acceptable. I, I, again, I guess I would, that would, in my mind, that would encourage the library to go to those townships that have cut funding or have cut donations and they are being solicited. And I would, I would uh, really encourage sending board members rather than your director because there's been a lot of bridges burned for those townships. That's my soapbox. That's my story. And that's all I have to say on the matter. I would not. I get. I, I would look at. I don't, know. I don't know what I look at, but again, I don't know if I'm the right guy to have the library in his portfolio, or I guess I am the right guy to have the library in his portfolio. So do we feel we're going to pass this budget this evening, or wait till next meeting? It's just terribly, oh, the percentage. Lou's going to make a really big headline out of this. Yeah, look at them smiling. You know, I don't like I don't like the percentage either. But our percentage is over the past. Other cities around here usually don't. <coughs> I mean, I, I'm not comparing. What do you mean the, the levy increase? You mean? Yeah. Yeah, the last year was excellent. Um, so we're, our levy increase is at seven point. You know, uh, the levy seven. increase can't. I mean, even citizens in town know the levy increase can't always be one or none. I mean, it's going to go up eventually in some. And actually, it's holding a line is, I think, <clears throat> I think typically in past years, without going back and looking at all of them, have been five, six, seven. But I think last year, last year was really low. Really yeah. low. It was in two. Yeah. I thought it was. <clears throat> yeah. I'd have to go look at that. It was really low. It was really low. This is the slight adjustment. And I know next year, obviously, <coughs> next year, like we talked about, we're not going to have uh, the fifty thousand dollars bike or the uh, yeah the trail commitment on there. There's some things that are going to come off next year that will help next year. Um, so there, there were some big expenses this year, period. Uh, the right. library roof being one of them. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a huge. Yeah. Project. Yeah. 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 It'll have to go back to the budget committee, and we're going to have to review it to make the cut. Otherwise, if we're going to save 
budget for the next council meeting is more than likely not going to go anywhere. Before you have the discussion at the council level, what you'd like to see cut and just everybody agree on it. Seven point eight percent. Well, I think Brian should make his case for it. I mean, we just handed him that huge Christmas present, like you said, and yeah. he has an additional wood chipper and bobcat rake and or skid steer rake, I think it was. That's all wish list things, right? Wish list things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Budgeted. Oh, I think I think what oh. I think those things though. No. Uh, yeah, they're not. They're not in here. Is here. Let me go to the parks though. I thought there was. I saw a wood chipper and a yep. Yep. future consideration: paint windmill and mural, repave Sharon Park. Yes, but he's got <coughs> in the parks capital. He's basically got in there the wood chipper and the landscape rake. for about eleven thousand dollars. And that number I can't see it from here right now is right now with that eleven thousand added is what is that? Seventy two oh seven. I'm sorry if they're so small. The help? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So just for the sake of doing it, let me take out Say he waits a year for that. I can't do the math in my head either. Hang on a second. Can I have these things set up so I can just adjust the numbers? Just take it down to what five hundred and fifty three thousand. Gets it down to 6.27. If you took those two items off. 6.27. Yeah. So it goes from 7.8 to 6.2, 6.3. That much? Really? Then in the following year, when we're taking that fifty thousand, or that fifty thousand isn't going out for the uh, trail, trail that makes I and mean, that's is we're still thirty eight ahead. And we haven't heard anything about that either. 
Oh, wasn't there talk earlier too, just bringing things up? Uh, there has been no plan. We could break that 50000 down into the next two years for so 25 and 25 as well. That was brought up uh, as, a, as a way to lower it. But I mean, it's still, it's either knock 25000 off this year and add it next year or just be done with it next year. I think it's. it's when we did this in the committee, the committee, that's the way we talked about yeah. it. And we just decided yeah. we would do it this year and be done with it. And then we would. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, I agree with that. I just. You could. If you really, you know, again, have Brian wait another year, or whatever, and then take another ten thousand or twenty thousand from the liquor store transfer too. That would get it down a little bit more. But to be honest, after a two percent last year, six point <coughs> three. I mean, it's something, no doubt. But it's reasonable. It's yeah, reasonable. Well, I want to thank Steve and Brad for working on this. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of work, and, and let me, yeah, Don has done a lot of work on it. I, I know the reason why we've been yeah, yeah. in such good financial shape over the years because of the work Don has done. So, well, one of the things to think about too is last year we didn't have a general uh, general dollar. That's going to our tax base is going up because of the addition the addition of the general dollar store. Um, think of what other things uh, has happened in the community that's increased in, increased value. Um, so I would like to think our tax base has risen. I don't know what that number is. Yeah. So uh, yeah, ultimately, the, uh, the effect isn't going to mean a 6.3 percent necessarily an increase for everybody. Because if our tax base's rate was, went up, they're not going to see a 6.3 percent increase individually. Right, and there's, well, general dollar is the big one. Uh, the big there's, one. you know, the lodgings buildings occupied now. Um, it's not in city limits, though, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is it? That, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah. But it's been out there for a while. Um, yeah. Pays a lot, too. Was, all the tax Pays a lot, too. financing stuff has been off a couple of years, hasn't it? Or is there any of that are that are coming back on? I think in 2019 they were, they were on. Yeah, only one apartment building was on this year. Next year, the second apartment building will be. Yeah, so the apartment building going in the third aren't going to really affect any because of the tip. But I'm just trying to think of like Dave, you know, God, they're doing some of the money. Yeah, he's not on tips on tip anymore. anymore so. Well, nobody look, you know, nobody appreciates the taxes so much. But if you know, if you stay flat. You're more than likely falling behind because you you aren't increasing the amenities in the city. You aren't doing maintenance to the amenities you have. You aren't attracting people to the community. You know, to, to do a hundred thousand dollar roof on the on the library to be able to try and do some of the other things that we've done and the increases and only do that with a six percent increase. I think it's a pretty pretty good idea. So, Mr. Mayor, yes. we're talking about taking off Brian's two items. And, okay, I don't see any point in waiting. I don't like it, but I'll move to uh, to approve the budget, knocking off the, the ten grand or whatever it is. You're moving, moving the wood chipper in the landscape. Yes. I'll second, second that. Right. I didn't know okay. you guys wanted that. A motion and a second. Discussion. So that would bring the in, uh, increase to 6.27? Yeah, I'll have the, I'll just basically give you the final. Yeah. Meeting, but it looks like it'll be about 6.27. Yeah. Any more discussion? Well, we'll have until December to do anything else for it. You can go One ahead. thing I've thought about is what, to address what Kevin brought up is that when we went through that pay equity thing a couple of years ago, I forget it was two years ago. Three. Well, 2016 is when I think we had reported or 17. Um, I think we have another one coming due. I think we passed last we year. Was it 18? Yeah, we passed last year or whatever. But yeah, when we went through that, we had a lot of inequities. And we got them straightened out. Mm -hmm. But then the library came around and said, we can do whatever we want. 
and that kind of upset me because after all the work we've done 